welcome back. This is Sarah with Exploration Creations, and uh, we recently, uh, maybe a little bit longer than recently, but recently got back from uh, a trip to Scotland that we've been planning for absolutely way too long. So I wanted to just share with you um, the sketchbook that I brought with me, kind of the tools that I brought with me, and then uh, some of the work that I've created since then. Um, as well as just some few, a few like inspiring things that I want to show. Uh, okay, we're all focused now. Um, so I just want to show you the sketchbook that I've got first. So this is the sketchbook I took with me. It is Arches Hot Press Watercolor Paper. Um, and then just some chipboard and some vinyl that I used. Um, so I created this, bound it myself. Um, and then we've got two stickers on here. The front is uh, catnip. Um, and the back is just a uh, Scotland sticker that one of our friends gifted us before we left. Um, and we will jump right in. So here in the front cover, once we got back, I had a few pictures printed. Um, so that's what's going on here. I've got my address here, so I've just taped in one of the uh, quick little paintings I did after we got back to cover that. So that's what's going on. And we'll jump right into it. So. Uh, we were in Scotland this August, and we started, uh, so this is the first time my husband and I have been out of the country together, um, and we booked it through uh, Brendan Vacations, and so it was very set schedule, there wasn't a whole lot of time to like sit and paint, which is fine, um, but here's kind of what happened, so we, we started off here, and I just mapped out our our path, um, which I thought was really fun. I like the way it came out. Um, here's us sitting at the airport um, before we left. And so I've made this sketchbook, so I technically had two pages per day, and I definitely did not have time to fill that. Um, but it was it was quite interesting to see. Um, so we'll we'll jump through. Um, some of these are going to be really fast and quick, um, some of them not so much. So here I've got the flags that were just uh, our view outside of the uh, hotel window in Edinburgh. Um, this, <laughs> this sketch of Edinburgh Castle was done uh, at breakfast one morning, so we had about half an hour. Um, I went in straight with pen. It's not the strongest work I've ever done, but um, I had a good time and uh, so there it is. And then my husband and I uh, hiked up Arthur's seat um, and sat at not necessarily the peak, uh, but there's kind of a landing about, I'd say about three quarters of the way up. And so we sat there for a while and enjoyed it and I got to paint that on site, which was fun. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> not even the next day, just skip a couple days. Um, we're driving through the Highlands, uh, we stopped for lunch in Larky, um, and so we had quite a while there, so we sat in a cafe and uh, drew this. I have added some things in here, um, so this is the label from uh, the ginger ale one evening. Uh, it was ridiculously gingery. Um, Thomas has made soup that tastes like that before, so we stuck it in because it was funny. Um, and again, I've got pictures of us uh, that I've just stuck in after we got home. Um, and then this is another one that I did um, actually on site. So this is the view one morning from our hotel in the Highlands. Um, and it was super wet that morning. So the dew content was really high. Um, so it just wasn't drying. So this is, this is what we've got. Um, it wasn't I, I thought about drawing over it and making it more defined, but I actually really like the way the colors have blended together, so I've left it. Um, we had an absolutely great time. Um, I've got another little label here uh, from this lovely cider, um, and so we, uh, we painted the cider as well. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we skipped a couple days again, and now we're in Glasgow. And we actually had much more time in Glasgow, which is kind of a shame, because we could have spent ages in the Highlands. Um, and if we go back, that's what I'd prefer to do. But here's just outside our hotel in Glasgow. Uh, the sunset was beautiful. It was nice, it was right on the water. And we had time to, to sit and do that, so 
was good. This one's actually out of our hotel window. This is out front of the hotel. Um, and then one more breakfast the next morning, same hotel. Um, there's a label from the little pots of strawberry jelly because I think they're adorable. Um, <laughs> and the shortbread we were given. And that's actually everything that was done in Scotland, which is not nearly as much as what I would have preferred. Um, so I've been travel sketching for a little while now and was really looking forward to actually sitting out and you know painting. I think the day on Arthur's seat was the best one. Um, and that's kind of what I had expected us to have a little bit more time for. Unfortunately, we had plenty of time in the cities, but we didn't have much time uh, in the actual landscape, which is why we were uh, so excited to go. I had never actually brought a sketchbook like this to travel with, so it was very interesting to do. Um, we had a lot of fun though, and I did go ahead and fill a few more pages kind of on the way home and uh, once we got home. So first of all, I took like 2,500 photos while we were there. Here I am with my camera and just a pile of <laughs> some of my favorite photos because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to paint first and I was just a little too excited. So here's the, the start of that. I really like how this one turned out. Um, and then I've got a couple gouache paintings in here. I went and painted in gouache and it's this really blue, almost neon green. But this is on the Isle of Skye, um, and this is just uh, one of the many driving through the Highlands photos that I have. Um, and then painting of uh, my husband and the battlefield at Culloden, and then the text here is just what's on the, the monument at the battlefield. I think this turned out really nice. Uh, my goal is to fill the rest of these pages with things like this, where I can kind of combine a lot of the photos that we took into a memory book for the rest of the, the sketchbook here. I had a good time. I'm glad I made my own. I'm glad I made it out of the arches paper. Um, unfortunately, that means that I'm back home and uh, back using my moleskin sketchbook to travel with, and I, I now hate it but we'll see how that goes. As part of this video, I wanted to show you a few other things as well. Uh, so the rest of this sketchbook is blank. I've got a few more pictures here at the end. Um, I want to show you the tools that I took first, um, and we'll start there. Okay, so the next thing I want to tell you about is the kinds of things I brought. I brought a lot with me for as little as I actually painted while we were there. Um, it's my standard travel kit, but I added a few things to it. Um, so we'll go through the, the basics first, and then I'll show you the extra things that I brought. Unfortunately, I didn't use them. Learning experience for next time, for sure. So by default, I use this uh, Portable Painter Micro, um, and I've got core colors in this. So it's uh, cores Venetian Red, uh, Quinacrone Magenta, uh, Cobalt Teal, Indigo, Quinacrone Gold, Sap Green, Hooker's Green, and Haynes Gray. So, this is what I used to paint with. Um, I brought a piece of paper towel, obviously well used. Um, I actually brought two of these, so they're little spray bottles that get filled with water. So I always had water with me. Um, and then there are three paint brushes here. Um, they're all different brands. <laughs> I'm not very brand specific. Um, this is my Rosemary & Co. It's a size 6 round. Um, and it's kind of my go-to everything brush. Um, it's probably also the most expensive paintbrush I own, but I use it all the time. And then I've got my beam paints. I, this is a number four round. And then I've got a liner brush. This gold one is, I don't know, uh, Raphael. Um, and it's a, you know, real tiny liner brush. Um, so those are the paint brushes I brought with me. I've got a number of clips. Um, this is a paint board. This is from Jesco Sketching on uh, Etsy and he is fantastic. I love this. Uh, this is a magnet and I've got a magnet on the bottom of my portable painter. If you haven't seen my sketch kit video. So I've got a magnet here and then a little bit of um, just like wall tacky material because the magnet needs to be a little bit stronger but I haven't decided I really want to take the whole finger hole 
uh, finger hold out um, so that gets stuck on that and then I've got a few other things here I have a pencil obviously um, these are my favorite I've got a blue one that I carry too um, it's just a really standard uh, kind of fancy mechanical pencil but I love them I brought a Tombow marker so this one is a like light neutral gray and then a watercolor marker from uh, Faber-Castell so this is in this is warm gray 3 272 uh, so this is actually watercolor it's really easily reactivated uh, standard pencil I've got a bit of a kneaded eraser in here so this is a beeswax cloth from bean paints um, I use their paints in the like in my studio here uh, so I keep my kneaded eraser in that and then a couple micron pens um, I normally use a, a one and a two uh, two mostly for the work that I did in the Scotland sketchbook now that is what I normally work with when I went to Scotland I took a couple extra things um, so I took a handful of watercolor pencils because I thought I would use them and I didn't um, so let's see if I can get them all out so you can see kind of the range of colors here it was greens purples because we went in August when the heather is blooming um, and just some standard kind of colors there I didn't really use them on this trip um, again I think that uh, the little bits of time that I did have to paint I was just so focused on doing what I knew I could get done and then I also brought a handful of Neo Color 2's these are the ones that I brought again didn't use them um, I like using them kind of for much more loose things uh, but really couldn't get myself to, to use those I was a little scared of them at the time I've used them a little bit more now I am really happy with them but for the trip that we took uh, those are the things that I brought and didn't use uh, so that's my selection of travel tools I want to show you the work that I've done first what I brought home and then second some of the work that I've done uh, based off of the photos that I have. So, the most exciting thing that I found uh, while we were there, we were in Stirling Castle and I found this art print um, and it's a watercolor print. This is by an artist called Jonathan Wheeler um, and you can see that a lot of it is you know really fresh washes, really bright colors. Um, of course you can't see that at all but there you go. Um, but we also found a book of his. So this is the artworks done by Jonathan Wheeler, text by Anna Martin, um, and it just has a number of his paintings in it. Um, I won't show you the whole thing, but uh, I find it incredibly inspiring. It's just a very different take on the um, you know traditional landscape. So you get some traditional landscape colors. But then you've got these really vibrant yellows and blues um, that are just exciting to me. <laughs> um, so I came home with a little bit of inspiration from that side too. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you because he doesn't have a huge online presence. He does have a website and I'll link that for you. I think his work is fantastic. He's done a number of the distilleries as well. so. Um, I would suggest that you check him out. Um, I have been frantically trying to figure out how he is so controlled and yet so loose. Um, and so I've got a couple of other things that I've been doing. First, this is my uh, like everything sketchbook. It's kind of a catch-all. I use it as a travel journal and all sorts of other things. Uh, so you can see some more of the little pictures I printed out. This is actually my attempt at that being his Yurikoit uh, castle. Um, as you can see, his is much better. Um, and I've been doing a number of practice things like this. Um, you can see that, especially here, here are the things that I've noticed. Uh, this, was, this was also much larger, I cut it out. Um, I'm not too worried about like this part. That I can do. 
it's here where he's got the details and essentially what looks like an initial wash. Um, so you can see the reds and the oranges, and I don't get those at all. Um, you can also see the, the like light shining through the windows. I've lost that. Um, and then here in the pathways, like, I'm not, I can, okay. So like this part makes sense. This part, no idea how he handles that. So that's one of the things that I've been working on. I won't show you any more of those uh, that I've kind of uh, taken the time to try and figure out. Um, but it is something that's really inspiring to me that I think people might be inspired by. Um, I also find it really helpful to do study of the things that you find inspiring. It's really given me the ability to take a look at things a little bit closer. Um, and in turn, I painted this. Obviously the colors aren't there. This is Glencoe. This is Three Sisters in Glencoe, Scotland. Um, based off of one of the photos I took. And you can see that I didn't use any masking fluid here. I've been trying to limit my need for it. Um, it's obviously very useful, but you can see that I've got more of these marks where I've left certain spaces. There's a little bit more negative painting there. There's some brights that were still left that I've been working really hard to preserve. And that's what I've seen come out of you know, actually sitting down and trying to figure out what he did. Um, so yeah, it's still very much the kind of work that I do, but it has some influence. And I thought that was really cool and I wanted to share. Um, other things here, this is more of a like souvenir page. Um, the rest of this really isn't artwork, so. There you go. Um, but I did a number of other things. So. I've been painting this stalk of Heather um, in a number of different ways. Again, this is from a photo I took. Um, and so I've been painting it on a number of different pieces of paper and processes and things like that. Um, and then I've got this picture of Sterling Castle that I took and I decided I was gonna try to do it with one of my photos, see if I could do it. I got through the sky, it's a beautiful ultramarine blue, and then I chickened out. <laughs> also I have fallen in love with ultramarine blue from this process. As a process thing, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, and then I've got a couple other things. These are with my Neo colors, again just playing with them. I have one other of the Heather that I've been uh, playing with. I really like this idea of this like gold uh, coming through. Um, you can see that I did that here. So yeah, it's... Thanks for sticking with me this long. I know it's been a long one, so I do apologize, but I just wanted to share one more thing. Um, these are some of our lovely friends that we met on the trip. Uh, my husband so kindly showed my Instagram to them, and they were overly supportive. And uh, so we did a painting specifically for them to commemorate the, the trip. So this is Three Sisters again, with the Heather in Bloom in the foreground, um, and of course, you know, this is the footage that I have of it before I sent them, and my voiceover was gosh awful, so thank you very much for bearing with me um, for this little voiceover ending. Um, so I wanted to end with that. Uh, again, this is why I paint. I paint to share joy with other people. Um, that is what really drives my artwork. If you stuck with me the whole time, thank you so much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, if you would drop me a comment telling me where you'd like to go and where you'd like to travel sketch, I would love to know. Um, so here's my YouTube reminder of like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back around at some point, maybe. <laughs> um, don't take yourself too seriously. Have a good day.